Kuse Afrika ya sendulo kupela lapo abesifazane. Vabe tonichwa futi webusa. Kungani kunge njalo na mtanji. Ni katika Afrika ya kale tu. Ambapo wanawake wali heshmiwa na walitawa. You just have to experience this to soak in the power. Above all, it is only in ancient black history, traditions, and culture that a female became God and recognized as such and was revered and worshipped. But what happened? Welcome to Committee Buru Ethics Marifado uh, presentation. This preacher Rabbi L.M. Dumizulu. Uh, the title that we want to deal with is a female God, but that's just part of the story. My religion is Kamitics, and my spirituality is Ubuntu Ma'ati Consciousness. Therefore, I am a Kamitician. Do you know that Islam allows husbands to beat up their wives? When you raise such issues, they jump up and they want to defend it and justify and correct that surah. But above all, we give more evidence of how Islam views women from the view of the Quran when we read the Quran. We find that menstruating women are termed unclean and the men must stay away from them. Surah given here. Women are men's fields and men can have sex with them whenever they want. There is the surah. Men are superior to women and have authority over them while women must obey men or risk being beaten. There is the surah. A woman is worthy one half a man, and men are above women. There are the surahs, the three given there. Muslim men may marry up to four wives, including pre-pubescent girls, and can own sex slaves. There is the surah. Muslims are not allowed to marry non-Muslims unless they later convert to Islam. So it's conversion by force. There is the surah. Women must cover themselves and not be seen. By anyone, only by relatives, eunuchs, slaves, and children who have had no sex yet. There is the surah. So this comes from freethoughtnation.com, and this is the website. So they would defend themselves. They would try to justify it. And unfortunately, you find women also standing up to defend such scriptures, such verses. Ah, maybe you may say Christianity is better. Uh, so let's look at Christianity. Christianity treats women like trash. In 1 Corinthians 14, 34 to 35, it clearly states that let your woman keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but they are to be submissive, as the law source says. And if they want to learn something, let them ask their own husbands at home, for it is shameful for women to speak in church, for it is shameful for women to speak in church. This is in the Bible. The Holy Word of God. Inspired. So let us not have all the gymnastics. Just like Muslims will have. And just like Christians will have. Let's never have anyone trying to say this does not mean that. This was Paul's own thoughts. Because the Bible so says all scripture is inspired of God. So that is what God is saying. Exactly. Without any question marks. Ah, you may think that maybe the Torah. Uh, is better. But here is what Genesis uh, says. In Genesis 2 22 it says woman was created from Adam's rib, product of man. Which is not correct as you shall prove and you shall see as we continue with uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, women are cursed. Uh, maternity, painful and all the other stuff that you know that women ate the fruit and uh, obeyed the devil. The tenth commandment in uh, Exodus 20 uh, 17 assumes that a woman is your property. Can do whatever you want. So that's 22, 18, and also in Deuteronomy and many other scriptures, they say that shall not suffer a witch to live. And we have seen how women have been treated all over the world across history, being accused of engaging in spirituality, not realizing that there's something that is in women that is awesome that is not in men. We shall prove that. Despite all these glaring facts, still billions of women go to the mosque, go to the synagogue into church and some even become church pastors even rabbis they defend these and push away the only traditions they themselves establish in ancient times and thus we witness a god in amnesia our black ancestors were more civilized than all of these 
where more civilized than Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and any other religion that you may pick. In ancient Africa, a woman enjoyed the same rights under the law as a man, with her dual rightful entitlement rights not dependent upon her social class or sex. All landed property descended in the female line from mother to daughter on the assumption that maternity is a matter of fact, paternity a matter of opinion. Capture that. A woman was entitled to administer her own property and dispose of it as she wishes. Even today, in many Bantu cultures, especially in the Bakalanga or so called Shona, we say in Berekoya Mai, Ukaidambura, Ayiri Pike. She could sell, she could buy, she could be a partner in legal contracts, be an executor in a wills, and a witness to legal documents, bring an action at court, and adopt children in her own name. An ancient Egyptian woman was called Kapax, competent and capable. Can witness one of the greatest modern events here in Ghana, the Queen Mother who was laid to rest recently, and the continuation of the divinities and the royalties in ancient Africa, and all the other royalties you see in the world copied from us. In contrast to all this, the so-called civilized Greeks, they didn't treat women like that. Women were supervised by carriers male guardian and many greek women who lived in egypt during the ptolemaic period observing egyptian acting without clear were encouraged to do so themselves in short an ancient egyptian women enjoyed greater social standing in many areas than all other society both ancient and even in modern times so let's not have anyone else try to tell us stories one of the reasons the last ancient african civilization of Kamit is still the greatest is that of all time it is what it was because it was built by both men and women women weren't only responsible for housework and child rearing but had other great roles such as being great warriors great rulers and diplomats it is time they start playing that role instead of mimicking others and changing their skin by putting themselves into risks and also by buying Chinese or Korean or Indian weave when they have the best hair on earth. Irenas, who was one of the most famous Candaces, because of a role leading the Kushite army, the Romans were scared to continue fighting her. That's why the Romans never went beyond the Kushite region. And the wars was, were fought from 27 BCE to 22 BCE for five years. And she defeated them, completely vanquished them out of. Uh, our areas only in africa in antiquity women ruled and were recognized as such women of ancient africa often led powerful spiritual roles too according to them they were offered full respect and admiration they were oracles they were spirit mediums they were seers and advisors they dominated the spiritual system across the whole land not so today why since the demise of our civilization due to the imbalance of male female equilibrium brought about by sell out male kings the advent of christianity judaism and islam followed by millions of people and in the process denigrates and reduces all of us into male property and chattel even some bad practices have fallen for the tricks of these christians jews and muslims is there any proof that black women is indeed the highest of human divinity but now embroidered in amnesia what can we do to balance the female male equilibrium in our personal lives first and in our human species later first we must accept the truth about the creative power of women our mothers our sisters and wives here's a simple question that is very difficult to answer why do men have nipples the answer gives proof of women's superior role to males we're going to prove that before we do that let us ask a simple question how old are you the answer comes from realizing that the female is god but that's just part of the story we must reconnect to our nine month best life cycle not the 12 month best life cycle the 12 month was invented by men while is the nine month in the womb should become the cycle upon which we calculate our birth and celebrate our birthdays because it connects us 
to the female God, to the mother who created us in her womb. Therefore, this is a union, a balance that we need to realize that the 12 months and 9 months must be balanced in a system of knowledge. Do you know that the word man was originally gender neutral? Meaning more or less the same as the modern day word person. When we get down to the metaphysical levels and roots, we are simply talking about feminine and masculine energy anyway. Depicted today by these signs and symbols in our genetics. And here is the ank, the African symbol that represents life and the system of biological melaninated life. There is the womb you are near at the top. It also represents the divinity, the fullness of divinity. And there on the two sides are the ovaries. And there is the birth canal asked questions about how to do these things and how to understand this. Uh, some biology will assist us in establishing the power and the importance of recognizing your mother, your sister, your auntie, and the female power. All humans begin in the woman's womb as women. All humans begin as women in the mother's womb. This is proved by biology and we shall also prove who started such a system. All human individuals begin developing from the same starting point. XX and Y, XY or atypical sex chromosome in combinations. During early development, the gonads of the fetus remain undifferentiated. That is, all fetal genitalia are the same and are phenotypically female. So males begin as female inside the creatoress's womb. Think about that and digest that a little bit. A female god, but that's just part of the story. A woman and a man provide 23 chromosomes each from the sperm as well as the egg or ovum. One pair of chromosomes helps to determine the baby's sex. Two X chromosomes and it will be a female. There is a very critical important table. You got a boy here, XY, you got a girl here, XX. All right? So the two X's, the combination of the X and the Y giving you a boy. That gives you a girl. So it is clear from here that the difference of the is on the testes and the ovaries. On the hormones of testosterone and the estrogen or progesterone. I want to highlight something that the scientists have done here. They've come up with the word zygote. Do you know that there is an African term? Zy means egg. And the gote means fire burning so our ancestors had something to do and we want to leak and to deal now with answer the question why males have nipples and what about nipples nipples form before the activation of the sry gene what's this sry the sry is found on the y chromosome It's a sex determining region this one. after five or six week period when the genitalia is still female there comes a gene here called sry and it activates the y chromosome and inhibits certain features of the x chromosome when it does that this sex determining region here afz afz these are the chromosomes as well as permia a factor once it does that and suppresses it means that the man comes about so when the sry gene is activated during this decisive five or six period we all get nipples but the nipples had already formed before the sry was deactivated you can watch this youtube given here that explains all these biological and genetic uh, terms these are facts that have been proved by biology therefore a female god but that's just part of the story who was this female god it is clear the power of women to create is high up there. Men cannot do it. But what happened? Why are we experiencing war today? Why have we forgotten about this? How the female, our mothers are great. So, who indeed is the female divinity? It is the black woman. Scientifically, the black woman is the only organism 
that possess the mitochondrial DNA that is all the variations possible for every different kind of human beings on this earth. When the DNA of black woman mutates, all other types of human beings come about. You can do your research and use Eve gene and you only find the black woman being able to do that. So we've answered very important questions here. In uh, our studying of genetics, it is now said that uh, humanity began in Southern Africa and the uh, Botswana, uh, Southern Africa part of the region has spread across uh, many, many, many times. And we also accept and agree without any doubt that humanity started in the Great Lakes uh, regions. Mitochondrial DNA indicates that all living human beings descended from one maternal source who lived in Africa between 100 and 200 BCE. Uh, yes, in 1987, a group of geneticists published a surprising study in the journal Nature. The researchers examined the mitochondrial DNA taken from 147 people across all of today's major racial groups. These researchers found that the lineage of all people alive today falls on one or two branches in humanity's family tree. One of these branches consists of nothing but African lineage. It's a pure black people. The other contains all other groups, including some African lineage. You can go and study all these. So the question, were all humans born out of the one creator is probably no. <laughs> because there are many issues that we will deal with later. But for now, that's the basic answer. Africans have the world's greatest genetic variation than any other race today. Patriarch is the force. It is brutal. It is a system that is destroyed over 1 billion people on the earth and as long as males continue to terrorize one another humanity is going to perish and suffer but thank the creator very soon there will be more than 9 billion souls on the earth and nobody can change that in such matters accept no substitutes don't waste your life following seductive spirits or energies nothing can match that which is your physical as well as your spiritual identity. This is what Hamiti Hebrew Ethics Marifa Dochem stands for and shares. Doers, thoughtful and those in the spiritual smart phase who discern the codes. If so, do not hesitate to shoot us an email on join at marifado.com and also visit our awesome website shown here www.marifado.com dot com applied knowledge is the source of incredible power we have revealed a lot of information in this uh, video christianity judaism and islam suppress your femininity and power and eventually distorts your energy and bastardizes your soul journey on the earth run away from these religions within contemporary biology and genetics we are discovering the awesome systems that enable us to escape the many traps set over us. Like the mother God blind case. You must remove that from your thinking. You must worship the feminine energy that is already inside you. Showing it here. But how do you do that? By you identifying with your Ubuntu Mahati spirituality using your totemic links. If you want to know more and if you want to learn more and to do more, subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Brew Ethics, and send us an email on join at marfado.com. This preacher rabbi, LM Tumizuru, saying, Till we meet again, a dupe siabonga, tatenda, thank you, and course.